Bure in a pocket of space. Purse with a big touch around Pickett. She has tons of space in front of her. Naren with a great recovery run, denying the cross. I think it'll go out for a court team right now. I think it's because I'm not training with her anymore in the offseason. It's what's really <laughs> helping her. She's getting much better. Purse here, dribbling to the end line, cuts it back. Sinclair! Woo! That didn't miss by much. Midge Purse is having her set pressure on Bure. Nearly slid it out of possession, but Bure a little too quick. A good Meg there by Purse, and now she has a lot of space in front of her. She goes far post, a diving header by Lucy. Lucy wants one today. She had one. But this is a good spot for the Pride. Can they keep Thorns contained? Presley. The ball gets knocked around too by Purse. Here's Serna Gorcevic. Nice little spin turn by her. Purse with a beautiful from Lucy. And that's what we're talking about. A little bit of miscommunication there with the Pride defense. And that's some, some of the things that they're going to be wanting to to try to tidy up as this game goes on, but also on the flip side, what Portland's gonna try to capitalize on. Weber, cross into the box and in, in between the lines, whether it's the midfield and defensive line or, um, but also out wide as well. I mean, there's gonna be so many numbers in the midfield. We can already see that it's gonna be tight. Portland, especially defensively, loves to keep, keep their numbers central and tight. This game with the international break. And that'll be the next evolution for a lot of these teams, which is just kind of dictating the tempo. Again, as we keep saying, picking and choosing your times, finding the times to go forward, when to put your foot on the ball, switch to the point of attack. We've spoken about both of these teams having the ability to create chances from a variety of different spaces on the field and dictating the tempo will allow, allow for those opportunities. Careless giveaway by Haran there. Naren picks her eyes up, thinks she sees Morgan, but when she zigged, picked up by Lucy. She wants the ball back again. Purse came over from Boston in the dispersal draft and has impacted for the Portland Thorns right away. Bure now just drop a ball in wherever she wants from, you name it, 40, 50, 60 yards away. Nice having a center back with that accuracy. And I think that's a good game plan by the Orlando Pride is have Tony Presley, if they're not going to put pressure on her to serve that ball, have her serve. When you, we see Purse and Klingenberg press press high, then it's a 3v3 matchup in the back, which if you're an attack, if you're a player like Alex Morgan, Sid LaRue, that's what you want. Yeah. Your eyes get wide and you say, bring it on. We want 3v3. They're due to in improve what they're doing so far. I don't think so. I think this is a, a good start from the Portland Thorns. They're finding Lindsay Horan on the ball quite a bit. I think they still look to switch the point of attack as much as they can. Again, the space is out wide. So having some success here, right on his touchline in front of him. He's got to be happy about that. That's someone he, he knows can make a big impact in the game. Here's Sinclair to the far side. It's a good. Good ball over the top. Can Weber get there? It might slow up. It does. Here she is, one on one with Presley. Stutters, takes it to the end line. And the offseason is what's <laughs> really helping her. She's getting much better. Purse here, dribbling to the end line, cuts it back. Sinclair! Woo! That didn't miss by much. Midge Purse is having herself quite the day on the right side of the flank. Nanumanu as well. Anumanu, a player that's come off the bench a couple times. Weber has the ability, though, to hold the ball up, which almost differentiates her from the other two. The other two coach that are just not quite there. But it's been fun to watch those two front runner roles right now as the Thorns are, are without a few players, as are all teams, because of international duty, because of injuries. But one good thing for the Thorns is we have a Miss Tobin Heath on the bench for the first time in a long time, and it's good to see her at least be back. I think Midge Purse for the Portland Thorns, you know, with what happened to Boston in the off season, it was so tough to see them go. And where were all those players gonna go? Midge
Bure a little too quick. A good Meg there by Purse, and now she has a lot of space in front of her. She goes far post, a diving header by Lucy. Lucy wants one today. She had one goal and two assists last season. She's a player that came. Naren, a player that they want on the ball. But she doesn't put enough oomph on that one. Possession turning over a lot here. Neither team really in the last few minutes since the Thorns goal has had a streak of real out and out possession. And if you're Portland though, you've got to notice this. Well, here it is, right to Purse, a good ball, good first touch. She goes to the inside this time. Bure chipping it over the top of the back line for the Orlando Pride have been together all day. That's the third off to take the throw in. Pops back up. Pride's high pressure has seemed to cease here, giving the Thorns the ball in the back and seeing if they can maybe. National team, if you haven't played in a big international tournament, this is the biggest crowd that you've played in. And just to see your teammates excited about playing in this front of this many fans, the fans who know the game, who are excited about it, it's there's nothing compare, that you can compare it to. Savvy fans, I would definitely. Slee heads it away. Bure keeps it in. Lucy with her arm up at the back post. She wants it, but Per Purse doesn't find her. Ran with a go, but that time Ashlyn Harris falls on it feels comfortable with that. A play that you you want to play and not worrying about the other team's fans. And for Orlando, that's a style of soccer. Tom Sermani likes to play, get the ball on the ground, connect, passes. Just be calm in the way that they attack. They've found that in spurts tonight. They've also kind of just wreck havoc at the back line. Absolutely, especially Weber running at players putting defensive pressure on them. I thought she had a tremendous night allowing for Sinclair and and her ran to get on the ball, opening up space for them by just putting pressure on the defensive line. And it's confident. Midge Purse, the first player from Harvard to play in NWSL. So I think she has a pretty good degree under her belt as well. Sinclair. Couple fancy turns, finds Purse again, crosses it in. Anamanu, diving save to the near post, fingertips keep it out of the back of the net from Hash Ashley. Keep the Swiss international off the ball there. Anamanu against Presley. Anamanu, near post, Circovo. Oh my goodness, that was. Reynolds, little touch by Abogagu. Ball over the top, Onoanu. Great chances for themselves, but also for one another. It seems like they already have a good relationship. Yeah, just a, a week into it. Turna Gortovic looking for the back post. It's Lindsey Horan flying in. Edmonds touches it out, and you're talking about that chemistry spot for the Pride. Can they keep Thorns contained? Presley, the ball gets knocked around too by Purse. Here's Serna Gortovic. Nice little spin turn by her. Purse with a beautiful run. Wants it on her right. Still alive, can Morgan get there? Not before Bure clears it out. Huge tackle by Alinsky. Ref says it's all ball. So just kind of slam it into the defender or try to trap it and it goes out of bounds there in the in-between moment. And at moments of this game, we've really seen the the quality of this Orlando Pride, Pride team. It's been difficult for them to put an entire game together. Few miscommunications, missed passes for them getting a little stretched defensively in these types of fouls that are allowing them to get here early on in the season, how they're adapting to having 
two games and then a week off. It's it's challenging things to have to navigate when you're just trying to find your own rhythm. Here's Morgan with space, a good dribble to get. All they have to do is, is win the first initial header and get the, the clearance out. Makes it easy for this Portland Thorns team. Salem sends it out. Zdorski keeps it in the Pride's attacking half. Berg in person and on the flip side can prick it and or pick it, excuse me, and Krieger get high and wide as well. But it's going to be about picking and choosing the times when they get there, not just standing in those pockets, finding the gaps at the... And Sid LaRue to Chiyama Obogugu, who've had a little bit more of the ball today. Here she comes, Obogugu. Chopping purse, but purse will have none of it and clears it out for a throw-in. 